everyone, it's Justine, and today I'm going to be doing a foiling technique with you, which is the first time I'm showing foiling on my channel. Now in January, I was lucky enough to be able to go to Creativation in Phoenix and check out all the new products before they come out that were going to hit the shelves in 2017. Now these are the things I was most excited about. Decofoil or Thermoweb teamed up with Gina K. Now Gina K is super awesome. If you haven't tried her cardstock or her envelopes or her inks, you have to try them out. She's absolutely amazing. And she's now come out with pre-printed things that you can foil. So here's an example of some of the sentiments. Now she has different themes for each pack. She has a variety of backgrounds. She also has things like this one here. Uh, here are some examples. They come with six different designs and there are 10 sheets in total. And she also has things like for weddings and for invitations and for birthdays, as well as a big variety of backgrounds. I managed to get my hands on two packs of these so I can show them off to you. Now, if you're maybe wondering why I haven't shown foiling before on my channel, because it has been around for a little while, if not actually a very long time, I have two good reasons. One, I thought that you needed one of those expensive mink machines. And two, I know for foiling, you need a laser printer and I have an inkjet printer. And I wasn't going to go about investing in a laser printer and a $100 mink machine, if not more money than that, in order to foil, plus all the deco foils, plus all the backgrounds and the ink I would need to use. So those myths have been kiboshed now that I attended Creativation and I'm super excited about that. So one, I can buy pre-printed things, which saves me having to have a laser printer or saves me time going to the coffee shop. Of course, I could print things off at a coffee shop and do this as well so I could have custom things, but that's for a whole other video. And two, I found out I can use a regular laminator, a regular old laminator. And I'm a teacher, so I definitely have a laminator at home for personal use. Laminators are also not expensive. They run between $25 and maybe $50, so it's not too bad if you think you're going to be doing a lot of foiling. Okay, so I've cut down the size of the background that I like, and I'm going to show you how to foil now. I'm done blabbing on and on about these because they're super fabulous. I'm just going to pull the top off the deco foil. I grabbed my scissors to pull off the top because I found it a little bit hard to open. Now, the sheet, they come with quite a few sheets in here. I believe there's six, and they are a decent size, and you can get them in a variety of colors. So you can get solid colors, silver, gold, blue, purple, any color of the rainbow, or you can get these ones, and they're about a dollar more per two where they're multicolored or they have a color theme to them. And I really like these too, so I wanted to try these out first. I have only have two bottles uh, or two tubes of these, and I plan on getting more in the future because this is such a cool technique. So I'm going to cut down my foil when, before putting this into the laminator. I'm not really sure if this is a necessary step, but I like to save as much as I can. And just in case I put this through the laminator and it doesn't work later, I thought I'm going to cut it down just to be on the safe side. I also bought parchment paper to put this through, and you need parchment paper to put these through, because I didn't know that a piece already came in these packs. So you could use the parchment paper over and over again. And so you don't need to go ahead and buy an extra pack just so you know because I made that mistake and I don't want you to have to do that either. So I've slipped it into the little parchment paper pouch. I have the color side up and the printed side up and I apologize for the lighting. I had to turn off one of my lamps in order to plug in my laminator. So I'm just going to put that through my laminator again folded side first and I am going to wait for this to come through. And it is a super easy just turn on your laminator and you're good to go and um, you just wait for it to come out and then you just pull off the foil. You don't need to wait. It's not hot. It's absolutely fine. Okay, so let's see what this looks like when you pull it off. Okay, so once you peel it off, you just take the corner here and you just peel it off slowly, quickly, whatever you like. And you can see here how awesome this background now looks. It's so shiny and metallic and people are definitely going to wonder how you did it. So I love cards where that has it. And of course, I think I actually cut my paper the wrong way. I think you're supposed to cut it the other way, so the butterflies are the other way, but that's okay. People make mistakes, and I'm just going to show you that I'm a true card maker, and I make mistakes all the time. Now, I'm not going to bother sending through the sentiment through the foiler, because I think having a foiled sentiment and a foiled background is a bit much. So I just wanted to show you that you could use these as well, just as regular stamps to cut out. So I figure, hey, why not? And I'm going to show you after what it looks like when you do a foiled stamp with a white background. And I just have a photo of that at the end to show you quickly because it's just the same technique but with the sentiment. 
So I'm just going to glue everything together right now. And don't forget to check out my blog. The description is below. I have the whole supply list for everything I used in this video, as well as I have the giveaway for a set of these sentiments and backgrounds. So I'm going to give away half my package that I have here. So you'll get quite a few of them for your own collection. So I hope you enjoyed this. Look at all that shine. It's absolutely gorgeous. I just need to trim off that bottom piece there and I'm good to go. So here is a final look at the card that I made. I apologize it's really hard to photograph foils so I hope it did it some justice. Just remember it's super shiny and super fun when you tilt it back and forth. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, you can access my blog over on the left or you can click on my face to subscribe to my channel or check out my other two videos here. Also don't forget my next video is coming out Monday and the first half of my April event is now complete. Thanks so much for everyone who stuck around for all the videos. I super appreciate it and have a nice Easter weekend everyone.